Hi guys, it's been a long time and I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I had a little issue with the motherboard, uh, prevented me from being able to really make videos in any type of um, manner. Uh, it was a very intimate problem and one of my, ended up being one of the uh, areas that holds my RAM was intermittently going bad and good, bad and good. So once I moved that RAM to a uh, non-defective area in my, my, on my motherboard, I was fine. Uh, but it took a long time and I'm sorry, for, sorry about that. But that's not why we're here. We're here because I was about to start the new Let's Play because I had just uh, fixed, as I said, the problem. And lo and behold, what did I find when I was checking out the Nexus? I found Parxus Maximus. It has now officially been put in the wild in its first uh, version, version 1.0. And I wanted to make sure you guys are aware of it, I, and that means I can also talk about it a little bit more in depth. Now, I'm not going to go into micro detail about everything, because to me, I, me personally, I like discovering things. I may go through the perks and perk trees um, and kind of translate, because um, the one thing they did keep was kind of like a Requiem-esque type of uh, perk description which not everyone's a fan of uh, because some, a lot of RPG players want to know exactly what they're getting for each perk. Now, I'll do that, but that's going to be a separate video. I may, I'm may i most likely going to do it on each individual perk tree and um, so you can then watch only ones first that you like and then maybe go to the ones that usually you don't like, but you'll find a cool perk that may change your mind about that skill. Um, this is a general overview, and also I'm going to sh uh, go through the installation process so you can see uh, it firsthand. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I'm far from an expert, though, so you're going to have to, you know, forgive me on that. I can only tell you what I know, and that's not a huge amount. But um, I've been using the uh, beta, so I kind of know more than the average person at this point. So now. As we can see when we look at this, this is the uh, the Nexus page. Now he talks about several things. He talks about, you know, what is Perxus Maximus? Now, Tendo himself says Perxus Maximus is basically a large scale perk skill and gameplay overhaul. It, it overhauls almost every, all the different aspects of the game. So, you know, it doesn't really leave a lot to uh, the vanilla. The only thing that this doesn't do is make the game extremely hard, which is what he left that open, I, I believe, on purpose, so you can use your own mods, you know, well-established mods, like Revenge of the Enemies, some of the others. Um, depending on how the mod author created it, it may be compatible, may be partially compatible or incompatible, um, but the big thing that is makes a mod usually incompatible with um, Perks Maximus is, is if it alters the perks, um, the perk system. That's the big one. If it alters perks in any way, then it may be incompatible without a compatibility patch, obviously. So, I mean, he gives a couple examples of why he felt this was necessary, and he used vanilla uh, comparisons, not really Skyri, but, um, you know, in, with enchanting and alteration, where everything was either passive or was just for that one skill. The you know and, and that I agree with. Uh, Vanilla's perks really weren't that great. There were some perk trees that were alright, but the perk trees for the most part were just like five out of five to get more damage. You know, it was kind of boring. To be perfectly honest with you. Now, the design principles that he puts out here. Now, I'm, I'm basically giving the information off of the mods page. You know, so some not everyone wants to go there or, or read it. It's a very large document. Uh, you know, from the top to bottom for the Nexus, so um, not everyone's going to want to read everything. Now, I, I'm i going to go over the most important parts, what I believe the most important parts are, and what people most likely want to know. However, this is, you, you know, this is a mod, so it's your computer, it's your game. I always advise people, if you're going to download a mod, always read everything. 
because you do, never know what's in there. You know, it's n nothing malicious, obviously, but, you know, you may be running things on your computer that could completely conflict, and then you'll be wasting hours, you know, trying to figure out what the problem is when you just would have known up front if you read it. So, I mean, like I said, if you decide you want to download it, then just do yourself a favor. I've done this mistake myself. Just read the page before you do so. Um, now... As far as what he was saying about the design principles, he was saying that, you know, that he believes the perks should affect the way that you, you play the game and reward you for playing the game properly, which I agree with. Passives are good to have in a game, but there should be some form of interaction, you know, to get the full value of them. It shouldn't just be like, you know, blah, 30% magic resistance and that's it you know that and i think that's a really good idea to be perfectly honest with you you know um have a large selection of perks and what i can tell you from doing the beta is that there is tons and tons of perks in this system there's no way you can get them all there's no way even with the uncapper unless you're like getting several perks per level i don't see you getting them all it's just impossible in my opinion um the gameplay, he's saying, should have a strong sense of progression, and immersion is king. This is a game, this is a role player's mod. It's not a straight mod like some people think, so it's going to be more Requiem in that way than, than Skyrim was. So He did say he added some content when he felt that it would help, um but wanted to avoid over-scripting it so it wouldn't you know, mess with your system too badly. Now, the requirements with what he's talking about that are un... Um, that you have to have is obviously Perks per is Maximus, and you need Dawnguard, you need Dragonborn, and you need SKSC. Uh, those are non-negotiable. He says he's not making a version that doesn't have it. So you have to have it to be able to use it. You're most likely going to need the Java runtime environment, version 7 or better. Um, he's saying, you know, that he will never make a version that does not have those, those requirements. So if you want to use this mod, you know, then you're going to have to quaff up the extra dough for the expansions. I'm sorry, but trust me it's worth it it really is worth it now um, now he's tried to come up with a way he says yeah the only people will uh, that will not need Java are those who have a minimalistic load order that only includes the DLC and Perxus Maximus and use all Perxus Maximus Perxus Maximus modules including the uh, a bundle uh, that's involved called Wintermist which is basically uh, a big enchant it's an enchantment mod uh, basically it gives you new enchantments so it's cool um, now the way that um, the installation works is that you're going to have what they call a fake master it's not a true master file it's not at the top of let's see I have to go into here uh, it's not a true master file it's not going to be up here Okay, now as you can see, I do, I'm doing a basic. When, I, when we do this installation, I'm going to be doing a very, very basic, nearly vanilla, uh, basically vanilla um, installation. There's really no mods. I have a few there. Uh, I'm using my EMB still. I have uh, you, your grids to load, but not many. Yeah, I'll go over those when it come, when the time comes. But yeah, he's saying that you know you can um, you need, you have the um, fake master. You're going to have other three more files that are, you know, Perxus Maximus Warrior, Perxus Maximus Mage, Perxus Maximus Thief, and the Patcher program, which uh, if you haven't used Skyproc Patcher, you'll see me using it. It's not that difficult, to be honest with you, but it's uh, something that has to be run every, I run it every time I add or subtract a mod, period, and um, even if it's not on the, the list that the, that shows up on, on Nexus Mod Manager, I still do it. Um, and I seem that, and I had never have a problem, literally. So, but yeah, it's um, and this winter mist is uh, uh, done by Anae Sion. I don't know, I hope I'm not butchering his name, but if if you're a Nexus uh, mod user, you'll probably recognize him. He does a lot of um, 
very good mods, a lot of spell mods, so very good mod with her. And I can tell you right now, the enchantments are really cool, so I really like them. Now, the good part about this, the way that he did this with the master and the three files, is that you don't have to use all of the files. If you only want to use the the mage part and not use the thief or the warrior part and you want to use other mods that are, use that, you can do that technically, but you're going to cut out some gameplay elements that he did because some of them cross over those. So some of them affect both the warrior and the thief parts of the mod. So you'll lose those if you do. But he did has he has backups. Uh, to what will happen if you do do that so it, it's something that's you know worth thinking about now the first thing we're gonna have to do so let's start to doing this installation now the first thing you want to do is go here to files you want to download the first version of Perctus Maximus uh, for your own your, your own you know information information if you really want to go on information overload um, which will be this is the documentation now the documentation will is what I'm going to use when I explain the uh, the perk trees okay so it's all here you really don't you know it, it's something you can just look at right away on your on your own uh, for everything now and this is the minimal patch that he was talking about you know, uh, with the minimal load order and can't run Java. So if you can't run Java, you can try to use this. I'm not going to use it, to be honest with you. I have Java. So unfortunately, that's not something I can show you. Now here, we want to download this with Nexus Mon Manager. See, it shows you, says you need Java and SKSE, and I have both. So, all right, and let's see. Highlight it, and if you're new to the Nexus Mod Manager, go here and activate the selected mod that will upload Perksus Maximus. It's a fairly large mod, so uh, it may take a few minutes, uh, de depending on your system. In fact, it looks like it's going to take a few minutes. So I'll see you when it's uh, I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, guys, it finished loading up, and um, when it's done, you're going to get a screen like this. Uh, now. This is where I was talking about. These are the modules that, uh, the different modules have the different perks, perk trees in them. Uh, you know, the warrior, the thief, and the mage. Now, I'd advise you to at least try all three at once before you, if you, before deciding to maybe have one or the other and see what they can offer you. This also here is an enchantment from the mod Winter Mist, Enchantments of Skyrim by Ine Sion. He's like I said, I don't know if I got his name right or not, but it's cool. It's cool. So I like those. And so I'll load that and check all those things and hit finish. And the mod has been successfully activated. So we're done with that. And next we're going to take a quick look. I want to see something just to confirm. I'm going to go here. Go to Steam Games, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, go to Skyrim, go to Data, and there's the Skyproc patches. Okay. Should be this. You should have this right here. Patches Maximus. Okay, now this is the uh, Skyproc patcher that comes with the, uh, the mod. Now, I have disengaged these two. These two are a different conversation, but this is the one that you want to look for. You go to PatchesMaximus.jar, and this screen will come up here. And yes, this is why you need the Java, because otherwise this won't come up, uh, and you won't be able to to do this. So you want to patch this, and it'll go through this process. Um, depending on your system, and depending on how many mods and everything like that you're currently trying to do, this could take. Uh, uh, quite a long time, which is another reason why I'm doing this with so few mods installed. I wanted to show you how it works with just the bare minimum. Now it's going to go, this is where it's going to go through, it's going to place uh, perks, weapons, new new types of potions, everything on all the NPCs. This is, this is where all the real work is done. 
So I'll see you guys uh, when it's when it's up and running again, and we'll proceed from there. All right, with just the bare minimum, it took probably like two to three. It took me a couple minutes. That was it. But I'm running a pretty pretty good machine. I'm not. I don't got the highest grade machine, but I got a pretty good machine. Um, so it may you know time will vary. Now that that's been done, I always go back into my Nexus Mod Manager, and I reset it and come back in fresh because you will need to have the Patches Maximus uh, update that's going to be in your load order. Um, okay, there we go. Now, let's take a look at the plot. I'm going to see that. Where is it? Oh, it is. Did I just do that? I can't believe I did that. Just be a second, guys. I think I made a little. Okay, for a second, I almost felt like a total noob. <laughs> uh, but it looks like it went through, even though I hadn't ticked it, which you should always tick it <laughs> before you do anything, especially if you have mods uh, installed. Now, let's go back here. Uh, I don't have to do that because it came up. See here, this will tell you what the Patches Maximus Masters are. And if you haven't used a Skyproc Patcher before, everything that's in here needs to come before this. Um, according to Tendo himself, also you want the master file to be as high as you can get it up near where the the master files are. So I, I would probably put it underneath the unofficial patches. Uh, now we got that and we should be fine. So let's try to boot this up. And see what happens. All right, we're in game. Um, as you can see, my org warrior here is at the Western Watchtower near Whiterun. And let's just confirm he's got the skills that he should have. As you can see, the perk trees have loaded up correctly. So if you guys have any questions or comments uh, about you know the, the, the mod or anything else, please post it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, because then I'll know that you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't give me a, 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 a like. That's fine also. Um, if you um, really enjoyed the video, you may want to think about checking out my channel or subscribing to it. I do have some previous videos uh, that I did post, and I do want to start a regular um, upload schedules as much as possible. I am looking, at, looking for work still. I just moved here to California. Um, but I think the two games I'm mostly going to do for, uh, for my Let's Plays in the near future are going to be uh, this for Skyrim and for Dragon Age Inquisition. So I'll see you guys in the next video.